Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss about the difference between pivot and transpose. So let's start. I've got the slide deck open here with me and I'll just start by explaining what's the difference and then we'll just do a demo. So on the left hand side I've got a data set which is essentially data in a tabular format. So it's got calendar year and total sales amount. Now when I convert this uh, set of rows into a single row but multiple columns, so essentially when I convert the years into rows, as, uh, sorry, column headers as you can see. When I pivot it, you can see I've got two um, rows where the calendar year is 2010. And when it pivots it, it sums it up and it just has one value. So you can see it's 53421. Five, so it's added 10,000 and 43421. But when I transpose it, you can see here it's got one for, so it's got one column which is 10,000 and the other one is 43421. So essentially what it does is it keeps the duplicates and adds them as two separate columns. So in a way, transpose doesn't get rid of the duplicate values uh, in the rows. So um, uh, that's pretty much it. There's no much difference. It's That's about it and depends on what you want and that's how you would go. So uh, I'll also show you. So I've got this data set. I'll just clean it out. I've, I was just playing around with it. So this is your source data set in a way, or at least what I've got. And it's got two, um, so 2010, 2010, and then 2011, 2012, 2013, and 2014. So I'm in the Power Query Editor, as you can see. Uh, and uh, for those of you who are new to Power BI, how to get into the Power Query Editor is, you're on the Power, uh, so you're on the Power BI desktop, and you click on Transform Data button on the Home tab, and you click again on Transform Data, and it'll take you to the Power Query Editor, which I have got open. Now, what we want to do is, let's say we pivot the data so when we do, so on the so when you open Power Query Editor, it'll take you to the Home tab. Now let's say you want to pivot the data, so you have to click on the Transform button, and here you can click on Transpose, or you can click on Pivot. So let's start with Pivot first. So I'll select select the calendar year, and I'll say Pivot column, and when I do say that, it does open a pop-up that says which column is the values and which is total sales amount. So that is the values column. And I'll just hit OK. And what it does is that it has converted the rows into columns, sorry, the rows into column headers, and it, it has removed the duplicates. So there were two rows for 2010. I can only see one column header. So let's just go up a bit. You can see there are two rows for 2010, but when we pivoted, there's just one. So let's get rid of the pivot now. So that pretty much uh, sums it up. It just uh, removes the duplicates. Now, let's go back to the same data set. And with this data set selected, I can go and hit transpose. So the same thing, uh, you, uh, you have to click the transform tab, and then you hit transpose. And the moment you do it, so it converts this. So if you can see it's got 2010, 10,000, 2010, uh, 43421, and so on and so forth. So now if I say, okay, I'm going to use the first row as headers and I take it up a step, you can see with the transpose I've still got duplicates. So 2010 and 2010 and then we have 2011, 2012, 2013 and 2014. So it, it depends, both of them can serve the same purpose but it, it depends on what you're trying to achieve in the end. So if you want to um, remove the duplicates, you want to go with pivot Otherwise, you can go with transpose. It does add an additional step, but uh, it's entirely dependent on uh, what you're trying to do. So I hope you find this video useful, and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers. Bye.